You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, BNB fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your weekly bold prediction edition. I've got three sizzling hot predictions. One is about Hope and Thomas, another is about Bridget, and the last one is about Brooke and Liam, right? And as always, the predictions are based on confirmed spoilers or on info that we just saw, promos, things like that. Good, good stuff, legitimate stuff. Hey, if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our BNB updates. And now let's dig in. My first prediction is that Hope and Thomas are going to start making big future plans. I suspect this is going to be both in their personal lives and their professional lives. You know, there was just a huge step forward for Hope and Thomas on Friday the 17th. Hope defended being with Thomas to Liam and Thomas defended them being together to Brooke. And then Hope dropped this huge bombshell on Liam on Friday, admitting, yes, she may actually want another kid, but definitely not with him. That was just an ouch, ouch moment. And then Hope said Thomas loves her and she loves that. And of course, at that one point, you know, Thomas came in and he heard all of this and then Hope walked over to him and embraced Thomas, stepped right into his arms, right in front of Liam. And the look on his face was definitely worth tuning in on that last episode. None of Liam's efforts in throwing shade at Thomas made a dent with Hope, not at all. So after Liam exited, then she did admit to Thomas, yes, I do have feelings for you. And that was part of the whole thing going on when Brooke was talking to him. You know Hope doesn't have feelings for you. And he said that he was optimistic and he didn't have to wait very long at all. So next week on Tuesday, the 21st, Hope and Thomas go to Ridge Forrester and they are asking for something to do with Hope for the future. So they are definitely making plans for future success together at work. And I suspect they are soon going to start making other plans like, like maybe Thomas will ask Hope and the kids to move into his nice new house. I'm also hoping Thomas might propose not right away, but soonish. You know, not this week, not the next. Maybe on Valentine's Day for February sweeps. That'd be really nice. I mean, of course, Thomas would ask her tomorrow if he thought Hope would say yes. And that has me asking, is a baby next as they move forward? Hope is no longer denying her feelings. She is showing it. And this is very, very exciting. My second prediction is about Bridget Forrester. I suspect Bridget might dig into her dad's medical malady. So Bridget and Thorne are both back in early December. That's confirmed in casting spoilers. Ashley Jones and Windsor Harmon are returning very soon. No doubt it's to do with Eric's health crisis. And I just wonder if Bridget will get to the bottom of her dad's medical mystery. Of course, we're still stuck with this fatal unnamed illness and very rapid diagnosis and decline. It, call it sopitis, bold area. I don't even know. I just, I hate that they haven't told us what's killing him and that that's a real, that's kind of stopping me from fully leaning into this plot. Let me know what you guys think in the comments if it's bothering you not to know what's going on. So other casting spoilers say, Guest star Sari Fields, who is from Big Brother and Survivor, she has a little cameo while Bridget is on. Sari is playing Dr. Martin, who consults with Finn and Bridget about a patient. And I have to wonder if it's Eric Forrester. I mean, surely Bridget and Finn will not take Dr. Colby's word for it. It seems like they would run more tests ask more questions, just figure something out if there's any way for this to be helped. So, you know, I, I feel like right now it's 50-50 on whether Eric will survive, whether John McCook is leaving or not. You know, he may want to retire and this may be his swan song, but I absolutely hate to see Eric killed off by an unspecified disease. So maybe Bridget will save him or at least tell us what the heck is killing her father, right? My third and final prediction for this week is that Brooke 
and Liam may start plotting together. So this is mostly based on Thursday and Friday scenes, not on an upcoming spoiler. So Brooke tried every way she could to keep Thomas away from Hope because she, you know, was at the cabin and saw Hope putting all the candles out for a romantic evening. She knew what that meant. And then when Brooke went to Thomas trying to stop him from showing up over there to see her daughter, she she tried every tool on her tool belt. She played the dying granddad card and told Thomas he should go be with Steffi, you know, so they could talk about Eric. And that didn't work because Thomas doesn't want Steffi to comfort him. He wants Hope to comfort him. Come on. And then Brooke tried flattery. You know, Thomas, you're so handsome. You're so talented. Talented. You're a real catch. Any woman would want you. And he goes, yeah, any woman but the woman I want because you don't want me to be with Hope. That didn't work. It was really funny because when Brooke's being nasty to somebody, she has a much sharper tone in her voice. And then when she's talking to Ridge, she does this very breathy voice. Oh, Ridge. And that was her voice that she was pulling out on Thomas. She usually has her capital letter B mode voice on with him. And today she was trying her little breathy thing that she does that lets her wrap his dad around her fingers. And Thomas is just not having it. You know, the flattery didn't work. The Eric's dying didn't work. And then she tried to say, Thomas, I'm just, I'm worried about you. Bullcrap. She, I think she's worried that Thomas may become a permanent fixture in Hope's life. That is the end all and be all to Hope's, to Brooke's concern. That's what I think. Meanwhile, Liam cannot believe his eyes when, you know, he stood outside the, the cabin watching Hope and Thomas make out and rub all over each other. He looked like a pervy just creeper outside that window. That reminds me of something Thomas might have done years and years ago, lurking outside watching Hope with Liam. So it's almost like the two guys have swapped places given what the writers have done to them. So right now, Ridge and Steffi and Eric and other Logans and other people all seem to accept that Thomas and Hope are adults and they're they're backing off and saying, just let them live their lives. Let it... What happens, what happens. But Brooke and Liam will never take that stance. These two seem to me to be natural allies. I mean, Liam just told Hope, damn it if I don't still love you. You know, 30 minutes after he told Steffi, we belong together. I love you. Our love story hasn't even really started. Just, I don't, does he have split personality or is it just deep narcissism where he doesn't hear himself saying the same thing to two different women? I mean, if Brooke thought for a minute that Liam would take Hope back, I think she would be relentless in trying to get Thomas out of her life and nagging Hope to go back to Liam and put her family back together. That's what she keeps saying. And of course, Liam would love to see Thomas out of Hope's life. And so I wonder if there's a chance that Liam might give Brooke some hope and say, well, you know, maybe if Thomas wasn't in Hope's life, maybe she and I could give our marriage another chance. Something to get her to start more actively plotting against Thomas and advocating for Liam in Hope's life. So what's very confusing about all this is Liam seems to want both Steffi and Hope, and maybe he's just going to be doubly obsessed. I don't know. So (laughs) the main thing, if Brooke does start plotting with Liam is I think she's going to be actually enabling him. And that's kind of scary because he's being a real creeper. All right. Let me know what you guys think about these predictions. Agree, disagree. If you see things going a different way, definitely drop your comments. Please click subscribe if you haven't and come back soon. We're here talking bold seven days a week and I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast. Because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 